Let's continue with a new episode of Chips and Tricks. What is your preferred choice when pouring out? Do you prefer to improve surface finish or do you focus on machining time? What a dumb question. Let me show you how you can do both with our Viper geometry. If you have high demands when it comes to the surface quality of your component, you may have to reduce the feed rates. That's why a good surface and economic machining often is a discrepancy. Not at all with our Viper geometry called GJ. You can easily find it in the catalog or in the web shop, of course. Check out the pictogram with the surface symbol. Let's talk about the design of the Viper geometry. Imagine that right behind the corner radius, a so-called Viper land is ground on the tool. Compared to a cutting insert without Viper geometry, you can achieve a significantly improved surface finish. How does this work? The special Viper grinding smooths the surface while reducing its roughness. You can achieve roughness values of RA 0.2 or even better. Compared to a standard tool, you enjoy a significantly improved surface finish with the same feed rate. But how can you take advantage of the Viper geometry in terms of machining time? The answer is feed rate, feed rate, feed rate. So let's make another comparison. A tool with a Viper geometry achieves the same surface finish at a much higher feed rate compared to a standard tool at a lower feed rate. This shortens the cycle time without affecting the surface. And that's not the only benefit for you. On the one hand, the contact time is also reduced, resulting in less tool wear. And on the other hand, a more consistent surface roughness comes along with the increased feed rate too. Good job. But Watch out to ensure that the Viper geometry makes the job right. You must align the cutting insert as parallel to the feed axis as possible. Otherwise, you run the risk of missing out on the Viper effect. My chip tip for better surfaces, smooth, smoother Viper geometry. High surface finish, reduced machining time.